Twas the night before opening, and all through the house, not a mammoth was stirring, and the lights were all doused. The set was all dressed on the stage with such care, in hopes the pajama men soon would be there. The interns were nestled at their desks nice and tight, while visions of the weekend danced across their sight, and Joel in his chair and Scott in his cap had just settled in for a long comp day's nap. Then out of nowhere there came such a clatter, we leapt from our desks to see what's the matter. Away to the entrance we dashed like a mob. Is that the alarm? I thought we got rid of the fog. Up the stairs ran production, down from admin more came, and met with a figure whom all knew by name. With a twinkle so bright on his eyes we were fixed. We all knew at once it was Howard Shalwitz. He dressed quite dapper for a normal work day. He announced he had somber news to say. Quite silent he was, and held his head rather low as he dismally told us, we do not have a show. But then, in a twinkling, Mary heard in the booth the prancing and pawing of two men on the roof. We opened the house and unlatched the locks when suddenly appeared two men wearing socks. They looked rather snug in their pajamas so warm, a costume they cherish as part of their form. It was the pajama men. They had made it at last. We all roared with laughter, their humor unsurpassed. Howard smiled and sighed, a man full of good jokes. And we laughed when we saw him. It was a fine hoax. A wink of his eye and a twist of his neck soon gave us the notion it was all part of tech. He had known all along this was part of their act. And Howard just laughed, having known this old fact. No day at the office could ever be a bore when defying convention is how we keep score. The night now concluded, the team reassured. With smiles we departed, the show now ensured. But we could hear him exclaim ere he drove out of sight, Happy holidays to all, and have a woollyful night. Fuck <laughs> it!